Welcome back Undertakers. In this video I'm going to show you a quick easy meal to make in the old instant pot and it's real simple. I've got a jar of sauerkraut, I've got a potato, I've got some turkey sausage and my wife likes the turkey one but you can use whatever flavor you want. I've got some oregano and salt and pepper. That's pretty much it. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm still getting to know this thing. Now I've made this meal before just not in the instant pot so I'm going to make it in here. We'll see what happens. And the sauerkraut, I'm going to use the juice is going to be my liquid for in here, so I'm going to not add any more. And all I really have to do to get started is I'm going to peel and cube up the potato, and I'm going to cut my sausage into bite-sized pieces, and that's it. After that, we'll just throw it in here and let her go. Now, when you do this, if you want to leave the skins on, that's up to you, but I'm going to peel this time. And you can use whatever potato you want. If you had some red potatoes or whatever, I've just got a regular old Idaho potato here. And also you can cut yours into whatever size pieces you want. I'm just going to cut mine into kind of large cubes. As long as they're all the same size, that's all that matters. And same thing with the sausage, I'm just going to cut that into kind of bite sized pieces, little chunks, whatever you want to do. And these sausages are kind of small, so I'm going to do two. Alright, now I'm going to start with the sauerkraut, get that and all the juice in there. It looks like there's plenty of liquid in there, but I'm just going to give the jar a little rinse and use that water as well. Now the potatoes and the sausages all go in there. Perfect. I'm going to hit it with some of our oregano. Now usually I like to put thyme with my sauerkraut. I like that combination, but I'm out of thyme, so I'm gonna use oregano. And if you wanted, you could also use some pepper flakes if you wanna make this a little spicy or whatever you would wanna eat with it. A little pepper and a little, two little pinches of Himalayan salt there. All right, lid on. Make sure we're on ceiling, perfect. Now we're gonna to go to manual. And down to four minutes. All right, now that'll take about 10 minutes to come up to pressure and then our four minute countdown will start. Now the sauerkraut and the sausage were both already pre-cooked. So all we're really doing is just heating those up. Yeah, I hear you. So all we're really doing is heating up the sauerkraut and the sausage. What we really need to cook is the potatoes. And according to the Instant Pot directions, a cubed up, cut up potato is three to four minutes. I'm going with four just because there's other stuff in here. And I'm hoping that some of that sauerkraut flavor will get sort of infused into the sausage while it's cooking. So once this comes up to temp, four minutes later, then we'll depressurize and see what we've got. Alright, since you last saw me hit the start button until the timer just went off, <clears throat> it's been a total of about 15 minutes. So now I'm going to let the pressure out and see how we did. Alright, well you may not have seen it through the handle, but that little click sound was the safety pin dropping, so now we can open it. It's going to be hot. Now, even when the steam was just letting out of there, it made the whole house smell like oregano and sauerkraut. So if you like those two things, you'd love that. But now that the lid's off, I can smell the sausage and everything. Let me give you a closer look. All right, give that a little stir. Now my biggest curiosity is gonna be those potatoes. Let me get a little bit of everything here so we can get a taste. Oh, that potato's nice and soft. Now, I expect the meat to be soft because it was soft when we started. So it cuts easy, but look at that potato. Nice and soft. It 
cuts easy, it's tender, and it smells really good. Alright, let's see how we did. It looks good and it smells good. Yes, I'm tasting it off a serving fork. Hmm. So this came out pretty good. I'm happy. It tastes great. The potatoes are tender. The meat tastes good. The, the sauerkraut, everything came together really nice. So the only thing I might do to this, I'd have to take another bite to see. Maybe just a little more salt and pepper. That's about it. So it came out pretty well. I'm happy with it. Now, if you didn't like the turkey sausage, you could always use, you know, kielbasa or smoked sausage, whatever you wanted to put in here with it. But for a quick, easy weekday meal, or if you're, you know, you're just looking for something quick one day to put together, this works out pretty great. Now, it's not dinner time yet here for me, so I'm just going to put this back in. I'm going to set it to keep warm and leave it sit here and stay warm until the wife and kids get home. And this is going to be our dinner, so I think they're going to enjoy it too. So there you go. A quick, easy, instant pot dinner. If you want to try it, let me know. I'd be happy to know what you guys think. I always love the feedback. But as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.